I guess we could call this a German tool review. It's a 50 year review of the Bosch 1270 belt sander. I'm going to take it apart. We're going to take a look at it. This one was originally purchased by my dad. My dad gave this belt sander to me in 2016 and I've been wanting to make a video about this ever since I got it. So for me this belt sander induces a very strong sense of nostalgia. Even the sound of it produces a lot of nostalgia for me. If you Google Bosch 4x24 belt sander, you'll see the newer versions of this or that square brick looking one, but you rarely ever see this. This one is made in Germany and it's heirloom quality. This is from the 1975 Bosch power tool catalog. We can see it's a two speed belt sander. It weighs 18 pounds, it takes four by 24 belts, so here are the two speeds. I was trying to figure out when my dad bought his. So this is my dad in his cabinet shop. And you can see the belt sander right there on the bench. My mom dated this photo June 1978. But I was pretty sure dad had the belt sander even before that. So I was able to find the belt sander again right here on the bench. And this photo is dated October 1977. I'm thinking that dad bought the belt sander somewhere around 1975, 76, or 77. Let's take a look at this amazing piece of machinery. So let's take a look at the condition of the belt. Uh, this is the original belt guard. PB Swiss size 5 is perfect for that screw. I clean that up a little better. So T-E-I-L, tile, is German for part. So the part number is 0210.41.431. There was a lot of belt dust in here. There's a lot of belt dust in here too. So I think this belt would have been replaced at some point. I don't think that would be an original belt. This is the original dust collection bag. It does have some holes in it, but this is the original bag. But the dust collection on this belt sander is amazingly good. Okay, so I'm using a PB Swiss size 5 screwdriver. Okay, I figured there'd be some dust in there. All right, I cleaned these parts up. I want to get, I want to get these part numbers on camera, just in case there's any kind of date codes in there. I don't know if there is or not. If anybody knows, please comment. Um, I thought I could take these pieces off, but these appear to be a rivet. Um, it's riveted. They did not want this piece coming off. They didn't want anything hitting this impeller. So they riveted that part. <laughs> this, piece, this piece is really heavy. But you can see it's basically a vacuum cleaner. Okay, now that that's cleaned up, we'll put that back on. Okay, we've got that back on. Let's take apart this handle. Kind of hard to do that while you're worried about camera angles. And then this one is a size four. Okay, and then there's captive 
nuts on the other side of these. Okay. So, you, all right, you can see that the way they made that, you don't have to take the whole thing off. All right, there's dust in there. Let me clean that dust out. Okay. Size four, PB Swiss. So we can see here that the switch is made in West Germany and it has screw type terminals. This, this one was a little bit loose when I checked it. Let me get that a little more tension. These down here, I don't think these have ever been, I think that's factory tightened. Yeah, that's, that's pretty tight, okay. So I'm gonna give that a little bit more. That one's good, okay. All right, so one of those was a little bit loose, so I'm glad I checked that. Wasn't that one? Was it this one? Okay, there we go. Okay, I want to check the brushes and I tried a bunch of different things. And this was the best fit, was the PB Swiss number six. Come on, come on. Want to check the brushes, want to see where we're at. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Now I want to make sure that I put it back in the same way. Come on. Okay, those are actually... Wow, I wonder if these were, wow, those look pretty good. Okay, I'm just gonna put it right back in the same way. Nope, that's not just right. It's this way, okay. I get that guy back on there, okay. I think those, I, I don't know. I'm thinking those brushes were replaced at some point. That They look pretty good. That's encouraging. All right, I don't wanna, I don't wanna over tighten that or I'll be in big, big trouble. So I replaced the platen when I got it in 2016 because it was worn out. Um, I did not replace the cork. I don't know if my dad ever did either. 
One thing about this is, is that these screws, if you don't keep the contact patch perfectly flat or you hit a ridge, the belt has a tendency to hit the tops of these fasteners and then it rips the belt. Keep in mind that there were multiple people who've used this tool, including me, from about the time I was 10 years old. Uh, my brothers used it. So the condition of this tool cannot be solely blamed on my dad. My dad took pretty good care of his stuff. This is a five. Don't want to over tighten that. Okay, I'm going to empty out the sawdust bag and then we'll show this thing in action. Because this side is flat, you can lay it on its side. You got to make sure the belt is adjusted so that it doesn't hit the surface. Then you can use it as an edge sander. So this is the updated version and although it appears flat, this wheel rubs if you try to do the same thing. So if you have a keen eye and your OCD was driving you crazy, I did notice in editing that there was still a ton of belt dust inside this pulley. So I took it apart and I cleaned all that belt dust out of this pulley. All good. Thank you for watching.